Today we are talking about magma chambers and igneous rock structures. We are still doing our introduction to volcanoes, and we'll, we'll get down to our volcanoes next. Basically, the lava from a volcano needs to come from somewhere. Where does it come from? It comes from a magma chamber. So you see our different options here. We're going to start with a picture of drawing the different magma chambers. If these magma ch one of the magma chambers are full of magma, they're called a magma chamber. If they cool and this magma turns to rock, then it's called an igneous rock structure. So they're pretty much the same thing. An igneous rock structure and a magma chamber, same thing. It's just magma. It's still molten rock. And igneous rock structure is after it's already hardened. So you can really refer to either of them by either name. So the lava from a volcano, like I said, is going to come from a magma chamber. There are four main types of magma chambers. We are going to start by drawing a picture of them. So you can flip over your note sheet, find a spot, label it igneous rock structures slash magma chambers, and then we're going to start drawing the picture. The first magma chamber we're going to draw is going to be the largest magma chamber. So I'm just going to put a big blob for my largest magma chamber. Okay, there is my big large magma chamber. It is called a batholith. So go ahead and label it batholith. Okay, it's going to be the biggest one, and one of the key things about the batholith is that it's going to be so hot that it's going to melt through the rock layers. So I'm just going to put some rock layers. I'll do them in black. So here are some layers of rock, and the batholith, as you see, has melted through these rock layers. That's the first type. Very simple. The second magma chamber that we're going to draw is going to be a, um, I'll just do a, let's do a sill. Let's do a dike next, a dike. The dike, I'm just going to put it out of the batholith. I'm just going to have it running up this direction. And I'll label it dike and spell D I K E. A dike is just a tube or a sheet that cuts across the rock layers or cuts through the rock layers. So again, I'll put my rock layers on. And we're seeing this dike is cutting across the rock layers. It melts its way through the rock layers. Something like that. Next one I'm going to do is going to be a lacolith. I'm just going to put it at the top of my dike up here. And now for my lacolith, I'm going to put it having a flat bottom, but I'm going to make the top bend up, kind of curve up like that. Okay, the lacolith is a pretty large rock structure usually, or magma chambers could be our second biggest. I'm going to label it lacolith, L-A-C-C-O-L-I-T-H, so lacolith. Okay, it's going to be my second biggest one. And the thing with the lacolith is it's not quite as hot as the batholith. So it's not going to melt through the rock layers. The rock layers are going to actually be bent up and around. Okay, So it's going to get those rock layers soft because it's still hot, but it's not hot enough to melt through them. So it'll seep between the rock layers, and then as it expands upward, it's going to bend those rock layers up. So lots of times it'll make a hill on the ground. So that's lack left. The last one that we're going to talk about is a sill. A sill is a tube or sheet that runs parallel to the rock layers. So kind of like a dike, but a dike went perpendicular or cut through the rock layers, the sill is going to go parallel. And I don't know where to draw one. I'm just going to draw it here, I guess. It doesn't really matter where you draw one. I'm going to draw it here and label it sill, S-I-L-L. -L. So again, the sill, kind of like the lacolith, not quite as hot, so it's not going to melt through the rock layers. It's going to go parallel between the rock layers. And again, it's a tube or a sheet. We see in this picture over here, we see the sill, okay, this little tube or sheet pushing its way through. The dike, again, is cutting through. 
bath lift is really big. It melts its way through the rock layers. Black lift just bends the layers. It's not quite hot. Okay, and these are feeding the volcanoes. And again, they're full of magma. But if they cool, then they would that would turn to rock. Then we call them an igneous rock structure. So now, if you want to flip to the front, you can get your definitions written down. And I just wrote them on the next slide. Um, kind of the characteristics. The bath lith, that's the largest magma chamber, and it cuts through the rock layers. The black lith is the second largest, does not cut through rock layers. It's going to bend the rock layers up and often makes hills. The sill is a tuber sheet that runs parallel to the rock layers, and the dike is a tuber sheet that, that cuts across the rock layers. Uh, that's really it. Um, the bath lift, like I said, largest. How large is largest? It can be big. Okay, you could have some of those maybe the size of Texas or half the size of Texas. So we're talking large for those. Sills and dikes, tubes or sheets, you know, kind of how small are they? Um, they can be fairly small. Maybe the size of the classroom, you know, kind of in diameter. And then, but they would run for a long distance usually. And I'll show you some pictures of sills and dikes uh, a little bit later when we talk about next, about some extinct volcanoes. I will show you a picture here, though, of one of the best known lacklists in the world. It's actually here in Texas. This is Enchanted Rock. It is a basically a big pink piece of granite. Okay, south of Dallas a ways. And you can climb up the side of it, as you can see here. You can climb up the top, climb up to the top. You can see the people are tiny, look like little ants up there. It is just a huge piece of granite. It used to be covered in rock layers. It used to be magma, and then it cooled and became this black lift. The rock layers have eroded away, and now this big solid piece of granite is just there on the surface. It's kind of neat. I said, and I'll show you pictures of uh, some sills and dikes when we get to ship rock and next with extinct volcanoes. But that's it for magma chambers and igneous rock structures. <laughs>